It's time for Roses and Rosé. I'm disgusting, but Peter is not. You guys, I have not washed my hair in a week. I have to tell the truth to you because you're my people. This is my priority, and that's why I skip showering to come drink wine and watch The Bachelorette. The men are meeting Rachel's family. Peter. Brian. Hi, Brian. Hello. Not in that order. Eric was second. The Lindsays. Oh, I love the Lindsays. I love them. I love Rachel. I love her family. Let's dive in. Peter, you're going first. Uh -oh. <laughs> so Peter goes first, and he knows baby clothing sizes. He's a big, he's a big three. So he's probably he's wearing like three long. or four. Yeah. Uh you guys, this episode, drink every time Peter did something else to make you fall for him. It's cute. And know that you're introducing a good person that's here for you. But be very careful, it's a dangerous game. So Rachel is gonna have the guys all meet her family in Dallas because her sister Constance, who is amazing, we'll get to that, is super duper pregnant and I guess she can't travel. I don't know, I don't have kids. She can't travel, I guess, so. Because the baby can't be on a plane. Nobody likes a baby on a plane. Anyway, um, so Rachel's like, Peter, let's go pick out some clothes for the new baby. And Peter knows baby clothing sizes. It, it's so cute. It's so cute. Get ready for this, because I'm going to freak out a lot more this whole time. Because Peter, I don't think I've ever felt this passionately about a contestant. If you guys have felt more passionately about a contestant, please leave who in the comments below. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. All right, so what's also great about the guys being all together is that when one guy goes to meet Rachel's family, the other guys talk about him. He sets the bar really low. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of amazing. That he may not even ask for her hand in marriage. Oh, he said even, that? even if she picks him. Uh, I think seemingly a producer told Brian that Peter said that he might not propose to Rachel. Even if she picks him. Because Brian knew. And Eric's all like, what? What? I know, and that's foreshadowing for all the crap that goes down. Uh, I am falling in love with you. I'm so happy to hear you say that. A producer maybe also seemingly told Peter that he should probably tell Rachel he's falling for her because he's got to say something to stay around. Because she wants him to stay around. She says they're really compatible, but he's got to show something. So Peter's like, I'm falling in love with you. And Rachel's like, and I'm falling in love with you too. And now we're like, we're going to fall into the arms of the Lindsays, our future family. <gasps> Okay. And my Uncle Jeff. Bummer, we are not gonna meet Rachel's dad. Cause he's a federal judge. Okay. Uh, so my, my parents met uh, in Milwaukee. Peter tells the story of his parents meeting and whoa, 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 bombshell. That was the lamest bombshell. <laughs> what kind of bomb am I dropping? Anyway, Peter says that his parents dated for one month. A month? Very quick. Oh. One month before his dad proposed, and they've been married for 36 years. 36 years. I came into this very skeptical and unsure that it could actually happen. Okay, so Peter, why are you so afraid to propose after a couple weeks? Your parents didn't know where to go for them. I'm confused. I'm confused. And you know what it just makes me think? Is it Peter? Is it, it, it's like, are we watching The Bachelorette anymore or are we watching a prequel to Peter Krause's season of The Bachelor? He's like, I'm so perfect, but I got a, I got a wall I gotta climb over. And all you women around the world, sign up for casting calls and help me climb it. As you voraciously climb over it yourselves, like animals, because that's how we all feel. Okay, so Constance is gonna speak for us all this whole episode. Constance is like, He seems relaxed and, you know, very handsome. Yes, he does, Constance. You know what's up with your bell sleeves and your statement necklaces. Mm-hmm. I love Constance. She's the one constant in our lives right now. Okay. Uh, so Peter goes to, now the thing about visiting the family is it's always like, are you gonna ask for the hand in marriage? Peter is not. I wanna wait until I know for certain that your daughter is the person for me which I like. He goes to Rachel's mom and he's like, I wanna ask for your blessing to keep dating her. Because I guess it's like, you know, courtship. I think we're here for a courtship at this point. 
But Rachel's mom is like, I love it! Which I like. And basically Rachel's whole family loves Peter and her cousin is like, Peter? Winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so drink, cause you know, nothing wrong with Peter. Mm. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah, take care. Yeah. Okay, so Peter's date is done. And side note, Peter pretty much hates Brian. I'm not the biggest fan of Brian. <laughs> and if you love Peter, that might be a telling side note for you. Dean was here and shameless plug told me in our interview that Peter and Brian never really got along. And ooh, we're seeing it all come out now. Oh my God, 12% battery. Let's move forward. Ready though? I'm ready, baby. All right, let's, let's go. Eric is there. I always wonder about the order. What does it mean? Is she most excited for her family to meet Peter? Is she saving Brian best for last? Are these even airing in the order that they were filmed? Unclear. But Eric is next for us, the viewer. You've done this before? Twice. So. All right. I've met two girls' families, and one of them was at prom. At prom. Eric, that's not taking, that's not going home to meet someone's family. That's picking them up for prom. And Rachel's face said it all. Family's important to me, you know, and it's like, that's what I really want for myself is family. Eric is gonna redeem himself, and that is Eric's story on this show. He starts off kind of sketchy, and then he redeems himself and you love him so much. Maybe Eric for Bachelor. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. He's got a story too. Okay. Peter though, right? Yeah, it's Peter. It's Peter. Yeah. Okay. So the big issue with Eric is, you know, that he's never been in love. But Eric is so good at explaining the roots of his story and why that has challenged him to have never fallen in love. And I love Eric. I do. Commitment on all cylinders. And also, Eric might not have never been in love, but man, does he know how to explain love. Listen to all these adjectives. Um, compromises, communication, um, sacrifice, understanding. Eric? Eric? Yeah, I think he explained it better than anybody, really. So Eric asked for the blessing for marriage. To propose to your daughter and take her hand in marriage. And Rachel's mom says something so brilliant. At this point, I'm okay with it because I trust Rachel, which is a very smart way for a very smart family to get around the kind of weird situation that they're in for this show. These girls are truly my friends and I think they will be very crucial to the date because they get me. Oh. Brian! Um, and Brian is gonna meet Rachel's friends. Interesting. Is Brian meeting Rachel's friends because Rachel's most excited about him? Or because Rachel wants her friends to read him? We were just going over the really embarrassing questions we wanna ask you. Uh, because he's the only one who did it. I'm 37. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Also, side note, why is it that when we meet new people and they tell us things about themselves, we're always like, oh, nice. Like, oh, I work as a janitor at a jail and I'm constantly beaten by the prisoners. Oh, nice! Why do we do that? This is what, what, what we do. Societal norm, okay. I've probably had too much of this and it's so hot outside. Dehydrated. Okay, so Rachel admits that she thought Brian was a quote, douchebag at first. Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, another reason to love Rachel. And she said in our interview, shameless plug, that she didn't like Brian at first, and so we should all give him a chance because she did give him a chance. So think about that, everybody. I liked Brian on this episode. I think he was really nervous meeting her family and that he was really not saying anything bad. It's just that he was maybe saying too much of what he was saying, and that comes across as, as the men of this season have said, as disingenuine. Not a word, guys. Not a word. Okay, so Brian meets the friends, and <laughs> Rachel is like, you guys, I know he's not fake. I do not have time to fake it. Who does? Mm. I have a tremendous amount of love for this woman right next to me. Rachel's brother-in-law, what a bold, bold guy with the way he looked and didn't say very much but just kind of kept staring. And Constance is back with another bell sleeve and statement necklace. Cheers to Constance, I love her. She's got a lot to say about Brian though. I love your family already. I mean, you guys seem like a 
See, that's too, see, all of that's so soon to me. Like, uh -huh. you, it's only been like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh... So even Rachel admits that the energy is totally different than it was the other two days with Peter and Eric. I'm like really low key annoyed. But again, you know, Rachel's mom like asked him the same question twice and I think he was just nervous and they all seem really critical. But then in the end, the mom's like, I trust you. You seem honest. I think Brian appears very honest. Okay, so he has permission to propose to Rachel too. Everybody does. We're back to Spain. How do we know? Cobblestone streets. Old cobblestone streets. It's the marker of Europe throughout this season. Wow. <laughs> We're going in a helicopter! <laughs> so Eric is so excited for a helicopter. And I don't know why, because haven't we seen enough helicopters at this point in the season? But here's another thing I love about Eric. He is just happy to be wherever he is. He's like, we're here! We out here, yeah! We're here! We're here, baby. Where are we? We're here! We out here. We out here, <laughs> yeah! Here we are. I'm here, where are you? I'm here and I love it. Get over here! <laughs> Don't you want to spend your life with somebody who's just happy to be here? I love Eric. Not gonna change my mind about Peter for Bachelor, though. Just not. Eric and Rachel have dinner and they have some fog for no reason. And Rachel is so good at like kind of knowing what needs to happen on this show. And she's telling Eric, you gotta say how you feel. And Eric's like, look, look, I love you. So, Rachel Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Great, wonderful. Cause now we're going to fantasy suite. We wake up the next morning and the bed's unmade and Eric's shirtless. And it's not a lot of facts, but it is a lot of implications. So, one more shameless plug. It's a trio in honor of the three remaining guys tonight. I talked to Rachel about fantasy suites and who she slept with and who she didn't and what she said off camera. It's all over at etonline.com. Don't drink every time I make a shameless plug. Why does my voice change when I when I chug like that? I don't know. It's like a fun party trick that I never meant to have. Okay. And then Peter! Peter dances his way into this vineyard in Spain. Drink again, another reason I love Peter. He's a good dancer. I mean I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm running out of rose. He can read me and understand me more than any other person here on this journey, and that brings a smile to my face. Rachel says that Peter understands her better than anyone on this journey. Better than anyone. I'm literally so confused. Who does she love and who does she want to pick? We're gonna find out what it's gonna come down to. Hold on. So they go to a vineyard and they manage to, on this season of The Bachelorette, find yet another old person who's been married for a long time in Europe. Great. And he gives Rachel and Peter the key to their own little wine cellar. I want them all. Raquel y Pedro. And God, another reason to love Peter. What's his priority? The wine. Mm-hmm. I can't. He's literally like, can we take all the wine? Are we just like leaving with all of this? Let me tell you something. I don't know, but fantastic. I, want, I want them all. God, I love him. We cut to later. So I saved our cork oh. from a bottle of wine. Peter for the win. <laughs> and Peter's like, I have this tradition in my family where I save this cork for a memory. And Rachel's like, Peter for the win. For the win. Your family said he was the winner. For the win. <sighs> And then things take a dark, dark, dark turn, you guys. They have to address the fact that Peter did not ask Rachel's parents for her hand in marriage. And Rachel explains what she thinks engagement is. I feel like it's cultivating the relationship and seeing what you have and if it can work outside of that. And then Peter explains what he thinks engagement is. Engagement is just like, we're getting married, let's just plan the time now. And they are not the same thing. And then, if you drink every time they say, I don't know, in this awkward space of time, you will not even know who you are. I don't know how to get through that. I don't either. I don't have 
the answers for you. I, I don't know where to go from here, to be honest. Me neither. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna have to eat ice cubes out of stress. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. They're saying they don't know. Rachel is devastated. This is the first time she's questioned if her and Peter can make it. Neither of them knows what to say. And then we cut to the... And Peter Krause is crying. He is crying. There are tears pouring from his beautiful face. Why? 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 Well, we've got to wait two weeks to find out because the Men Tell All airs next week and then we're going to get the finale and then we're going to find out why Peter's crying. But, 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 I have one saving grace for you guys. I talked to Rachel about why Peter is crying and that interview is up at etonline.com and I don't have any rosé left for this last shameless plug. But this last shameless plug represents our uncertainty as we head forth into the Bachelorette finale airing August 7th on ABC. God, I love this show. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure to like ET on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. You can connect with me about The Bachelorette over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great night, everybody. Don't cry for me, Peter Krause. The truth is that we all love you, whether you're The Bachelor or you just date us in real life. We want to hold you, make us your wife. It's getting weird. I'm out. Okay. Bye! And Eric is so excited to see, wow, I just, it's, my hair has gone downhill throughout this taping. Let's try to fix it. Just like we gotta try to fix this relationship with Brian because she's probably gonna pick him, so we gotta resurrect this, guys. Okay, not great, but okay. The motto of these relationships.